Hi everyone! Thanks again for tuning into the SH Weddings YouTube channel. Josh and I are back from Mexico as of this past Saturday, technically Sunday because we got in pretty late. But um, I'm so bummed because I actually recorded a video. I did a honeymoon um, slash vacation packing guide for you guys. I kind of went through a bunch of things that we brought with us and I talked about what we found useful and what we didn't. And I spent a long time editing it and then uploading it to YouTube and it was deleted by YouTube because I didn't have enough minutes. It's basically the video was too long and I was so sad but um, it's my understanding that the more videos that you do post to YouTube the more minutes you get so I think what I'm gonna do is just hold off on posting it until I am allowed to post longer videos um, just because if I broke it up into two sections it would be kind of awkward so I'm just gonna go ahead and save it and post it later on and I'll let you guys know when I'm able to do that but today I thought I would do kind of a fun different video the vintage look for um, makeup on wedding days is becoming really popular and I'm really obsessed with this look. I cannot tell you how much I love it. I love the bright red lip, which I'm wearing today, and I love the black um, liquid eyeliner with the flick. I just, I absolutely love it. So um, on our own wedding day, I kind of really wanted to go for this look and I chickened out because I didn't think I could really pull it off. Um, I don't regret that decision by any means. I was really happy with how my makeup looked for our wedding day, but for our one year anniversary photo session that Josh and I decided to do, I went for the full on vintage makeup look. I went for the red lip, I went for the black eyeliner, and I was so happy with how it came out. So um, prior to that, I had done a ton of research on red lipsticks. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> I was in department stores constantly swatching colors on my hand. I was doing tons of research online by reading articles and looking on YouTube videos of reviews of lipsticks that were like the perfect red shade, trying to figure out my skin undertones, all that stuff. So for months and months and months, I finally collected actually quite a few red lipsticks. So I wanted to go ahead and review them with you guys just to see um, if this might help you out in choosing a red lipstick, whether it's for a special occasion like a bridal shower or a rehearsal dinner, or if you are doing that vintage look on your wedding day, this might be helpful for you. I've tried a lot of different red lipsticks. Um, some of them I purchased and returned I didn't like. Some of them I ended up keeping. And I have quite a few that I've kept only because I have started wearing red lipstick more and more in everyday life. So um, I'm going to go through those with you guys today, do some swatches on my hands so you can see them. So if you are interested, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to start with probably what is the most popular red lipstick out in the beauty world right now, and it's the one that Dita Von Teese actually made pretty popular, and it's Russian Red by MAC. Let me just show it to you guys. I don't know if you can see that. But this is the color that I actually wore in our one year anniversary photo shoot, and I was really, really happy with it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you a picture now so you can see what it looked like in the photos. And um, this color is very, very red. Um, it's very saturated, and it is kind of bright. It is kind of a bluey based red. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show it to you on my hand. And that's what it looks like. So it is very bright. And just to note, you guys, when you are wearing red lipstick, you do need to wear a liner with it. And the liner that goes with Russian Red is Cherry by MAC. It looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and swatch that for you next to it so you can see. So that's the liner and then the Russian red. So I really like this one. It's definitely red red. <laughs> so it's not going to be like an everyday red. It's definitely a special occasion red. But it is very, very vintage and I really, really love it. Um, moving on, I'm going to show you the other MAC one that's pretty popular. It's Viva Glam 1 and it looks like this. It's more of a, like a brick burgundy brown red. I really like this one for more every day. I think I wear this a lot during Christmas. Let me just show that to you next to Russian Red. So this one is the Viva Glam and then this one is the Russian Red. So I really like this one. Um, and then the liner that goes with that is Brick. Looks like this. You can't really tell what these look like, but let me show you a swatch of it next to it. So there it is, the liner and then the Viva Glam. So 
You do have to line your lips, guys, with these red lipsticks, because otherwise they will start to feather out into the skin part around your mouth, and it, it just looks horrible. So you really do have to line your lips. Um, one thing you should also do before you start wearing red lipstick is condition your lips. There are a lot of conditioners out there. I mean, high-end um, department store brands have them. MAC even has one. But honestly, my favorite is this Nivea A Kiss of Moisture love this stuff. It's just basically a lip balm like this and it actually is very similar to the MAC one that they sell in their store. I tried the MAC one on in the store. I didn't buy it because I kind of was skeptical about, I think it was like 14 bucks or something and I had this one already and I tried it on kind of right after I tried on the MAC one and I liked this one um, just as much or better. It's basically just a moisturizing lip balm. A lot of these reds are matte. Like the two that I showed you, Russian Red and Viva Glam, these are matte colors. Um, I did have Ruby Woo by MAC, which is probably the, their other red popular color. Um, and I, I didn't like it. It was one that I did return. And it was only because it was so drying. Even with the lip balm, my lips were cracking after probably an hour or two. So I returned that one. It's a beautiful color. It's very similar to Russian Red, but it's very, very drying. Russian Red is a little bit more moisturizing, even though it's a matte color. Um, so moving on, a dupe for the Viva Glam 1 is actually this color by NYX, NYX Cosmetics. It looks like this. And it's actually the color that I'm wearing right now. It's called Snow White. And let me just show it to you next to the Viva Glam. You honestly cannot even tell the difference. So there's Viva Glam, and then there's NYX, Snow White. So, I mean, they're very similar, and you can go ahead and use that brick um, lip liner from MAC um, to go ahead and, with this next product. Here's what it looks like in the tube. It's one of those round lipsticks. So, I really like this one. It's very moisturizing, very long-lasting, and as you can see, it's almost identical. The only reason that I actually kept the Viva Glam 1 is because I like the tube a little bit better. It's a little bit... Um, more concentrated. This one's a little bit bigger and cumbersome to carry around. So that's the only reason I kept the Viva Glam. And also just because I really like collecting MAC lipsticks. I know it's horrible, but it's true. Um, so the next drugstore lipstick I want to talk about is actually by Revlon. And I actually got this tip from MakeupGeek.com. Um, Marlena is a makeup artist and she runs that site and she's awesome. And um, she actually recommended this this red lipstick in one of her red lipstick tutorials that she did and it's by Revlon one of their matte colors and it's called really red I really like it this is what it looks like in the tube it's just a black case which is really nice I like really simple cases when it comes to lipstick and this one um, I actually did also wear during Christmas and like I said it is a matte color it's a little bit more tomatoey red than the other colors so this is it right here and unfortunately, I don't have a lip liner that goes with it, but the best one would probably be Cherry, the one that went with Russian Red. But you can also, you guys, get neutral um, lip liners. This is a NYX one, and it's just called Neutral. And you just put this one on your lips because it's pretty flesh-toned. There it is right there. And it won't show. It's just basically going to be an undercoat and protected to keep from feathering around your mouth. So I really like Really Red by Revlon, and of course this is probably going to be the most inexpensive one. Um, NYX is also really inexpensive. I think I got this online for like $3.50 um, plus like $1.50 shipping. I just did a Google shopping search for it. So um, those are really good prices. And then the, of course the MAC ones are $14.50. That's just their standard price for lip color. Okay, moving on. Um, this one I got from an idea from Pixie Woo. They're other professional makeup artists on YouTube, and I really like them. They're from the UK. And this color is by Elizabeth Arden, and it's just called Poppy Cream. And I love this color. This is more of a color that I also wear in everyday life. And let me show that to you next to Revlon. So this was the Revlon, and this is the Poppy Cream. This is definitely more of a bright red as well, so usually what I do is I take this on my finger and I just dab it onto my lips, and it kind of creates a very like neutral red color, but also if you're going to go for that vintage look for your wedding day, this guy's awesome color. I absolutely love this one. And you could also use Cherry Lip Liner from MAC with that as well, or go ahead and use that neutral lip liner. Um, I have one more for you guys. And this one is probably my newest favorite. I wore this a ton when we were in Mexico. It's a very bright orangey red. And I actually got it with a gift card last minute before we left. And I'm really excited about it. And this one is called So Shod or Showed. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it. But there it is in the tube. 
love this you guys this is definitely a full-on vintage red color and let me show it to you on my hand there it is it's so pretty you guys I really love it love this one and this one is a matte finish so it is gonna be a little bit drying but I think it's still pretty moisturizing all things considered and the lip liner that goes with this one is just red lip pencil by Mac it's R-E-D-D -D. I'm not sure if you guys can see that let me show you next to it so there they are together they're almost identical and the lady in the Mac store when I was purchasing these says that sometimes she wears this lip pencil just by itself without the lip color because the color really is pretty. So that is my red lipstick collection. Um, it's probably more extensive than the average person, I know that. But like I said, I really am starting to wear red lipsticks a lot more just in everyday life, like for going out at night and stuff. Um, and I really like it. I just love the look of it. And like I said, I am wearing the NYX color, which is their round lipstick in Snow White. Um, and it's almost identical to the MAC Viva Glam. And like I showed you guys, here again are the swatches for those next to each other. So, um, yeah, that is it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I'll be happy to answer them. Like I said, I've done a ton of research on these red lipsticks. So I am not a professional makeup artist by any means. These are just my opinions. Um, this is just what has worked for me. I happen to be yellow undertone um, with my skin, and I believe I am warm toned. I still haven't quite figured it out. Sometimes I think I'm cool. Sometimes I think I'm warm. One of these days, I'll hopefully get it figured out. But if you are looking to do red lips for um, your wedding day or rehearsal dinner or special occasion, I definitely say go for it. It is so much fun. It's such a classy look that even years from now, you'll look back and say, gosh, you know, that was really, really good makeup. So um, have fun with it. Try on lots of different colors. Do swatches on your hand. Don't be afraid to go up to a MAC person or any department store person and just say, you know, I need to find a red lipstick. It's okay to try them out, return them, try them out. The most important thing is you have to be comfortable wearing it. So um, have fun with it, you guys. And I hope this was just even a little bit helpful for you. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks again. Bye.